Hello. As you walk down the hall corridor at the Des Moines Art Center, you will see the side of a sculpture ahead of you. It is of a young girl on a pedestal. She is sitting on her legs with her knees forward and her body straight and her head looking down as if she might be looking at her hands. Do you feel drawn to look more closely at her? Do you want to know what she's looking at? You can because the pedestal that she is on places her at eye level for most adults and school-age students. As you are able to look more closely, you wonder what is around her hands and lower arms, and then you notice something is even around her lower belly. Are these bandages anywhere else on her body? Take a moment for a slow look. What parts do you find your eyes focus in on? Are there places where it is difficult to differentiate between the girl's skin and the bandages? Are those also bandages around her shoulders? Or is it just the texture of the sculpture? This sculpture is called Bandage Girl by the American artist Kiki Smith. The material is bronze with a silver nitrate patina that she uses to make it appear as if the bandages are almost part of the girl's skin. What feelings do you have when you see a person with bandages on parts of their body? As you look at her long neck with her head down, do you think she is looking at her lower arms and hands? Are you able to look at the features on her face, even though she is looking down? Can you see the expression on her face? Or does the sculpture make her features too indistinct? Now look at the shape of her head and its size compared to her body. Do you think her head is in normal proportion to her body? If she stood up, would she have normal proportions? Why would Kiki Smith, the sculpture, choose to make her head so large? What thoughts come to your mind? What feelings? Do you think a body's shape can express feelings as much as a person's facial expression? Kiki Smith grew up in New Jersey with her twin sisters where they were raised in the Catholic Church. It was a church where Kiki first became fascinated with the human body from the statuary that was all around. Also, there was a lot of illness in her family, so the focus on the human body strongly influenced her art. Perhaps we can see these influences as we look at the fragility of Bandage Girl. Bandage Girl makes us look at the vulnerability of the human body. She draws us to her with empathy and compassion for the fragility of life. Perhaps during times of illness or struggle, we respond to her even more than we would in normal times. What do you think?